This is Steve Holt, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about Facebook advertising. I'm going to show you how to do it and give you some of my personal advice as to uh, what you ought to do when you start making your ads. A couple things you need to do first before you start anything. There's a couple websites that you need to go to to make sure that you understand. Facebook uh, has a website called facebook.com slash ads slash ad board. And this is a page you can go to to see ads that are running right now on Facebook. So you can get an idea of the type of pictures people use, the type of text they're using, the call to actions, and so forth. That's a great resource to start with. The next website you need to go to is Facebook's Guidelines. These are located at facebook.com slash ad underscore guidelines dot php. By the way, these links are in my book in the, the chapter on advertising. Go to this website and make sure you read this page. Read every single word on this page because this page will tell you what you're not allowed to do, what is absolutely verboten, that you cannot do it or you will get kicked out of Facebook. They're very serious about this. Make sure you understand what you are allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do before you start anything. Don't waste your time unless you understand these guidelines because you don't want to get in trouble and you don't want to spin your wheels and waste your money. So make sure that you understand that. So go to that the guidelines, read those, go to the ad board, check those out. Then when you're ready, go to facebook.com slash advertising or facebook.com slash ads. It'll both get you to the same place. Get you to this page right here gives you some uh, some information on to educate yourself there's a button in the upper right hand corner that says click here to create your ad and also there's a link here at the bottom if you have existing ads to click here to manage your existing ad I'm going to show you an ad um, that I did did a couple weeks ago because I wanted to be able to show you guys in this video about advertising I didn't spend a whole lot of money as you can see my budget was 50 bucks uh, only 23,000 people saw it each person saw it about 11 times and I had about 60 clicks. I didn't have a whole lot of reaction, but I'm going to show you the screens that I used to set up the ad. I'm going to show you the ads that I ran and I'm going to tell you and I'm going to tell you what my results are, uh, what my results were. Uh, so this is the screen you will see when you make your ads. And every day the stats are, are updated multiple times a day so that you can actually see real-time data as to how your ad is performing. And what's great about this is you can adjust your ad after you walk through the process of making it you're not stuck with it you can watch these statistics right here and if your ads not performing like you want then you can go change the picture you can go change your budget and spend more money you can change the titles you can change the actual ad copy so you can adjust you can you can actually make multiple ads running at the same time and have two ads that have just different pictures or have two of the same ad that has a different title which is what I did um, so that's really cool is you can adjust as you go along. In fact, I highly recommend that you do that. Don't just run one ad. Make two or three or four or five different versions of the ad. Run all of them at the same time and see which one is getting the most reaction, the most clicks, and the ones that aren't getting any, stop those and keep using the ones that are working. And that's what's great about this Facebook advertising is they make it so easy and they make it so fluid and, and so forth. Um, let's go look at some of the ads. Of course, you've seen ads. They run down the right side of the page here. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure if you've ever looked at those, but let me give you some advice. Um, this first couple pieces of advice, I've read, I've read uh, uh, studies that have been done about this, and I've, I've listened to companies who, who this is their business, Facebook advertising, and what they say is ads that have smiling, happy females in the picture tend to get more clicks and more traffic. As you can see here, I've got an ad of a smiling female here, I have a bald guy here, and I have a smiling female here. Three out of the five ads, three out of the six ads, two out of the six ads have got smiling females. And you will discover a lot of smiling, happy females, because that just, it is what it is. They typically get more, um, more clicks. The picture really, really is probably the most important thing. I noticed an ad the other day on the right side of my page where the picture was turned sideways. And that's the reason why it caught my eye, because it was turned sideways. Uh, the guy got real creative, and he took a, a, a typical picture. I think it was a picture of, uh, of a lady standing, but, but she wasn't vertical. She was standing horizontal, like she was standing on the, side, like on the wall, and that's what caught my eye. And so it was, I can't remember what, what it was about, but I remember what the picture looked like, and it was pretty, pretty uh, uh, ingenious the way that they used that picture. Um, so uh, 
watch your stats make multiple versions of the ad change it and adjust it often um, now let's go look at how to actually make an ad I actually took screenshots of the ad that I did so that you can see the choices that I made basically to get started when you click when you click this green button here it brings up some screens and it starts making recommendations to you based on you know the pages that you already have but you know you're gonna go down the screen here and you're gonna pick all the options that you want what's really cool about Facebook versus other forms of advertising is you actually get to specify who you want your audience to be you're gonna get to specify well let me just show you let's just go through the screens here here at the beginning um, I got to decide where my ad went I could make it go to my Facebook page I could make the ad go to my website I could make it go to uh, any website that I wanted I, I mean, you could make it go wherever you want I chose to make it go to a website there's a link that I chose I gave it a title and my copy you only have so many characters and it tells you how many characters you have left and it choose an image I took an image of my daughter and her cowboy hat because this ad had to do with Nashville something was happening in Nashville so I thought a young smiling happy lady in a cowboy hat might might uh, attract people to click um, and I was right it did um, the title Nashville Summit and I have some some copy here where I ask people um, to join me in a pub crawl because we're gonna go to Na Na Nashville and we're gonna go downtown that night and we're gonna go hop around some of the live music venues and check it out um, I want to mention right here in this ad copy always make sure that you include what's called a call to action if you if, if your goal of this ad is to increase your likes on your Facebook page if, if your goal is to uh, increase email signups if your goal is to do whatever you need to ask them to do that so if your goal is to increase likes then in the ad copy make sure somewhere it says hey click like if your goal is to sell more products say hey buy my product so it's called a call to action I actually ask people to do something I mentioned the word goal and that's probably pretty important to mention right now you you need to make sure that you write down before you start this whole business what your goal is what do you want to accomplish do you want more likes do you want more product sales do you want just to make people aware of something well write it down so that later when it's over you can evaluate was my money well spent did I meet my goal you're never gonna know if you've met your goal unless you actually have a goal and it's a good idea to actually write it down on an actual piece of paper I know it may be tough to actually find a piece of paper but go see one of your kids I'm sure they got some paper in their notebook and go get a piece of paper and write it down write down your ad alright this is the first screenshot the next uh, thing that they want us to do is to target uh, what what country what state what city what zip code what age uh, what sex male or female uh, what type of categories what do I want those people to be interested in uh, and this particular ad it was a technology conference so I wanted them to to be interested in I wanted them to have a college degree I wanted them to be interested in the internet and technology and gadgets and blah 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 because I wanted to focus my my audience to make sure that these these were the type of people that I thought might show up at the event um, right here is uh, both uh, I, I didn't care what their relationship status was I wanted to be a college grad let me see what else ah yes the next section the most important section in fact this is probably the number one question I get from people how much do you this Facebook advertising cost well it all depends um, you get to specify what your budget is so you you can't ever overspend I my budget was real small for this because I wasn't real serious about it I just wanted to do an ad so that I could show you all how to do one so I'd have some screenshots and so forth my ad was for 10 days five bucks a day that's really not a whole lot that five bucks can go pretty quickly just in a very short period of time and then the rest of the day they don't show your ad to anybody because you've already spent all your money for that day when it comes to spend come comes to the the the, uh, the choice of spending your money you basically have two choices do you want to pay for impressions or pay for clicks well pay for clicks is pretty easy everybody can understand what pay for clicks is if somebody clicks on your ad Facebook gets paid and you have to pay pretty simple in fact that's how most internet advertising works like the Google advertising that's how it works you pay for your clicks but Facebook also has a pay for impressions 
what that means is if Facebook shows your ad to somebody if they just show it and it shows up on the right hand side doesn't matter if anybody clicks as long as they show it to somebody that counts as an impression and the CPM is means per thousand impressions so do you want to how much do you want to pay for a thousand impressions or do you want to pay for a click now most people are going to choose pay for click let me show you what, let me tell you what I would do if I was if I was coca-cola for example and I was coming out with a new product and I simply wanted people to be aware of my new version of coke that's all I wanted them to be was aware if I wanted to raise awareness for something I would I would pay for advertising on a per impression basis because I want Facebook to show it to as many people as possible if I was actually selling something like a brand new pair of shoes that I wanted people to buy I would choose pay per click because when they click it would take them to my store where they could buy the shoes now most people are going to choose pay-per-click because it's the easiest to do and that's fine uh, that's probably what you should start with because it's the simplest to understand if Facebook is going to suggest a bid range they're going to suggest a high and a low my advice to you is you need to stick with that range because Facebook has seen the type of ad you're making they know what has worked in the past and what hasn't and so they're going to suggest hey you need to you need to bid between this and this range if some guy makes an ad just like mine and he says that he will pay five dollars and I say that I will pay two guess which ad Facebook is gonna to wanna to show the most that's right not mine because if somebody clicks on it they make five bucks from him they only make two bucks from me and by the way Facebook wants to make money and they don't make money unless people click so the good ads they're gonna show those the bad ads they're not gonna show so you gotta have good picture good copy all that stuff um, just follow my advice stay inside that range and uh, watch your statistics every day the ads that are working continue those the ads that are not stop them the last kind of ad that I want to mention to you is something called a sponsored story I'm gonna hop over to my Steve Holt consulting page this is a pretty innovative ad and it, it's just last year they came out with this I think it was last year they came out with this um, and what they have done is uh, if anybody ever posts something on your wall um, if somebody makes any kind of comment whatsoever for example uh, here's a friend of mine who mentioned me and it showed up on my wall a sponsored story is I can take this right here and turn it into an ad and it will show up on the right hand side with all the other ads they're called sponsored stories and what's really cool about that is if somebody posts something on your wall and says hey I love you you guys are doing a great job you can turn that into an ad and when you turn that into an ad Facebook will show it for sure to all of the friends of that person who said it so that the friends of that person are gonna see an ad on the right side that their friend's picture is actually in the ad and that means that they're much more likely to click on it it's called sponsored stories and you have that ability right there in those screens that I just showed you to say I want to do a sponsored story ad and then they'll make you go pick which one off your wall that you want to choose it's pretty cool you might want to talk to the person first before you do it so that they understand that you're getting ready to turn them into an ad but if they post it on your wall how awesome you are they're probably not gonna mind just make sure you run it by them ahead of time so that's that's the summary of ads you gotta choose between cost per clicks and cost per impressions and I explained to you who might want to do each of those uh, make multiple ads adjust them watch your statistics if you got a low budget keep it low uh, but you can adjust your budget as you go along and most importantly make sure that you have read the guidelines and that you have a written goal as to what you want to accomplish and I promise you uh, you'll see some success in ads if you follow all that make sure you read the chapter in my book about ads because I go into a little bit more detail right in there to hopefully give you an edge as you start making your Facebook ads